Hey you guys, so if you're an introvert, are you just doomed to sit back and hope that your work speaks for itself while other people who don't even do their jobs as well as you do or you would do get the best positions just because they are louder and better at selling themselves? Just in case you don't know me, I'm Dahlia. I help professionals to land work that is very highly paid and that is also perfectly matched to them and that they love. And so a lot of you guys have reached out to me selling, um, telling me that you know that you need to sort of sell yourselves better. You need to build your reputation. You want people to know you so that they reach out to you with positions and exciting projects and opportunities but you don't want to be one of those obnoxious people who just comes across the right, the wrong way, or one of those people who's kind of being loud or being show offy and, or even kind of pushy and um, doing that weird outreach. And some of you guys have told me you've already tried to do that because you know it's important to put yourselves out there. And so even though it feels weird, you've gone out, you've sent um, LinkedIn connection requests, you've sent messages, but you haven't gotten responses or it just hasn't come across the right way or it just hasn't delivered any opportunities. And some of you guys have said you've you've tried to brand yourselves, you've updated that LinkedIn profile, you've even, you've even had your CV professionally reviewed and all of this kind of thing, but you still feel like people don't know who you are or if people do know who you are, they don't want to hire you for those positions. And especially these days, we talked about this before, but we are entering, especially with you know the kind of world crisis that we're dealing with right now, we are entering a new phase of the work world. Just like we had the industrial revolution, which completely changed the way that we work, we're entering another such revolution right now. So we need to be ready and we need to be branded for this new world we need to be out there in the digital space and that doesn't just mean having an updated linkedin profile there's a lot more to it than that which a lot of you guys know already because you've tried updating your linkedin profile and it hasn't really made a difference so this is really for you like if you're not just okay for with settling for what you you can get you want to make sure that you're one of those top level people who is really in demand for your skill set and getting those exciting projects and if you're the kind of person who wants to be able to do that in a way that is authentic that's not weird and that you can just have a really a system you know this isn't just about updating your profile you want to have a system for that what i'm going to be doing is hosting a free branding workshop so it's going to be a three-day challenge so that you guys can be up to speed with all of this and you can be really those people who are out there landing the best positions so what we're going to do is we're going to look at branding mistakes that people make and how to fix them so i want you guys to be able to eliminate that trying to hard uh, energy that a lot of people have. A lot of you are coming across right now like you're just trying way too hard and it looks, it's, it's turning off employers. So we're gonna identify what those mistakes are and make sure that you are fixing them. We're gonna look at what tools you need to be using in 2020. So for this new age, what are the best tools and which ones you can actually stop wasting your time with and that can actually make you look outdated more than anything else. And then how you can save yourself years of all of that time that people are spending being stuck in the competition, competing for jobs. A lot of people have this big goal that they think is out there 10 years in the future and really Really, that's a goal they could they could be reaching right now like I have a client that had this big big dream to work for uh, for the UN he got a job with the UN within eight weeks time when he'd been spending three years trying to get this job so a lot of those goals you guys have um, if you had if you can just fix your branding those goals could be a reality now as opposed to ten years from now we're also going to be looking at obviously how to craft your LinkedIn, your CV, how to tell that story. Some of you have, have said you have really, really varied experience. You don't know how to actually pull it all together in a cohesive way to sell yourself to employers. We're going to be looking at that and we're going to be doing actual CV and LinkedIn profile reviews. And we're also going to be looking at the number one secret that you need to know if you want to be able to be one of those 1% who is attracting highly paid work that you love. I want all of you guys Guys to be one, uh, one of the few who are getting offered opportunities instead of you having to chase after opportunities because you have that reputation and you're branded and you are known as a specialist and the very best person for those roles. I want people to be chasing after you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link to the workshop below. I've named it Branding for Introverts. It's going to be a three-day challenge. And so if you guys want to get in, it is free, but you need to 
um, sign up at the link that I'm going to put down below and that's going to grab you a spot and explain what to do next so that you guys can be in on the challenge. This is the best way that you can be investing your time right now if you're in quarantine or wherever it is that you are, it's the best thing you can be doing to really make sure that you are properly positioned for this new job market that is emerging right now. So I'll see you guys on the challenge. Make sure you've signed up and I will see you on the next video. Let me know if you guys have any more questions about branding, anything specific that you wanna discuss during that challenge because I'll take note and we can add it to our, to our agenda, okay? See you guys soon.